Julie Feifan Balzer, your host for Make It Artsy. Let's get a little gritty and find inspiration in industrial processes. As you become bolder in your creative process, it's time to branch out to some new tools and materials. Our resident tool expert, Joe Rotella, is here with some new techniques with resin. And we're actually doing like memory keeping with resin. We are, we are. I wanted to start with a keepsake tray. So here's some wedding photos. I wanted to use them on a tray, but I needed to be sure it was food safe and it would also protect the photos a little bit. So this is actually coated with an optically clear resin. And although we're doing it just in a tray, it also works phenomenal on bar tops, tabletops, a lot of the restaurants you eat at, those tables are covered with this kind of resin. You know, I never thought about it being food safe because, like, I've I've covered a tabletop with resin, and I now I'm concerned. Be careful! I'm not yeah. eating at your house. I know, right? <laughs> so. How do we start this project? We start with a tray, and I painted this one black first with just an acrylic paint. And then I took all my Is there anything ephemera. special about the tray? Can it be wood? Can it be plastic? Can it be metal? Or does it have to oh, be a certain... Oh, just about anything. In okay. fact, one I have my eye on, I picked this up at a yard sale for two bucks. Yeah. And I thought, I'm going to put shells and beachy things in it and then give it to a friend in Florida. Nice. How cool is that? So I put everything down here with an acrylic medium and coated the whole thing with the acrylic medium just to seal it. Okay, so if you put stuff down, like paper and stuff, it has to be sealed. I'd seal it first. Yeah. Okay, and is there any limits of what you can put in here? Can you put like plastic and is anything going to melt? Nothing will melt, but you have to be careful because some stuff will float. So if you've got a material that floats, you probably want to make sure that it's pretty well glued on the bottom, even with super glue or a uh, hot Some glue sort of, gun. I was going to say something to really, really hold strong. It. And then remember, if you put really thick, lumpy, bumpy stuff, you're going to need a pretty thick coat of the clear resin. So some of the trays have a handle. I definitely couldn't go above the hole of the handle because the oh. resin will come out. That's true, but this tray is great because you could actually have something very dimensional in here because yeah. there's no handle hole. You could fill, actually, if you wanted, the whole thing, but then it's more like a plate than a tray, Absolutely, I guess. but since it's food safe, a plate's cool. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Now this comes down to prep. So we prepped the board, we painted it, then we added our pieces, we made sure it was sealed. You wanna make sure this is absolutely level. So we have a okay. level. Yes, we do, we have a level. We're gonna make sure this is really level in every dimension because otherwise the resin will set and will be crooked. I was gonna say that bubble's right in the middle. Looks good. like we're good, good to, to go. go. So the resin comes in two parts. If you could start to mix those up for me. Sure. There's a part A and B. And I'm just putting in equal parts. Equal, so if you give me one, I'll pour there one, you, you pour one. There we're you go. ready to go. I was gonna say. So now we obviously have to fill an entire tray. So that's why we're actually gonna dump, you told me, the entire bottle. Uh, yep, and if we needed a smaller amount, you can use little measuring cups. It's just one to one ratio. But you want to use something essentially disposable because you're not going to keep around. Because obviously, this is resin, it's going to harden in there. Absolutely. So once these two it has parts to be something you're going to throw mix. away. And we have mm, about three minutes once these two parts start to mix before it really starts to set up. So another tip is I'm going to coat this tray, but I have a few other pieces ready to pour resin in just in case I have some left over. And now when I'm mixing, what is my goal? Like I can see that one of the liquids is slightly thicker and one is thinner. So how do I know when it's actually mixed together? And I'll also point out that even the stick that I'm mixing with is like a throwaway paint stirrer. Absolutely. I'm not using anything that I'm gonna reuse. So you wanna mix this till you don't have any more swirls on the inside. Do you okay. see any swirls in there? I do see some swirls. So I'm while you're mixing going. that, we can yeah. talk about a couple of the other things I have ready to pour. Cool. Two of them over there are beads that I picked up in New Orleans. And I just cut a piece of plexiglass and I hot glued it to a flat piece of plastic. And then I glued the beads down because I did one of these once as a test and the beads did float like little buoys. Really? So, so make but sure you you, glue that those could be down. kind of an interesting effect, I guess. Oh, but it then can be cool. maybe, but if you want it to be flat. I wanted a coaster, so oh, the beads well, were a problem. That's not gonna be great. <laughs> So we're just mixing until all the swirl goes away. So I have two things with beads ready to go. And then I also mix some of this, but we can dye this with non-water-based materials, mica powders or dye. So I made a black version. I put an embellishment in it and let that cure because then we can layer clear on top. And I see you're just using plastic containers. Now will you, you'll, it looks to me like you're gonna actually pop these out of we the containers are. because I can see that you have one that's been popped out. And so that is totally different than doing the tray in which it's going to stay. 
day. Absolutely. And we can reuse those containers. And do you need to coat the container with anything when you pour the resin in? Not or? in this case. In those kind of plastic containers, it literally just pops right out. That's so cool. So Does this, do? I don't know, you tell me. I think we're pretty it's good. It's bubbly, is that but okay? But the bubbles are okay because this resin cures overnight, so about 24 hours. That's slow enough that the bubbles have plenty of time to float to the surface. Does that mean that disappear. I can dump this you in can here? You can pour. Okay. So Am nice I going to do this and wrong? And just nice one, like in a corner, and then let it just find its in level. In a corner and let it find its level. Okay. I can do that. Oh. And you can see the consistency. It's not like water that instantly goes everywhere. No, it's a it's little bit not. thicker. This is easier than I thought. So I'm not pouring it all, right? I'm saving some. You could save a little bit and we can pour those. I'm going to tilt this a little bit. Okay. And can you get to our other molds? Yes, I can. <laughs> I am a molding queen. You are. Here you we are. go. So I'm going to tilt this just a little bit, but be sure I want to get it right back to level again, just to fill that whole So that's that how you're going to go ahead and fill that whole area. Yep. And how about you mm -hmm. fill these other ones? These little round ones? And if you have enough we can do the third one. Oh yeah. So this Let's way we're not wasting thing. any of this resin because once you mix parts A and B together So this is like a lot of different over. projects where basically you want to do really good prep so that you have a lot of different things ready to go and then you're just going to go ahead and do them all at once. I can see doing so many things besides like obviously tabletops, pictures, coasters. I feel like this one has a lot of big beads and I may need to. And if we have a little bit more, I can take a little it. right here. Okay. I would be happy to give you a little bit more. I can see that right we here, need right to here. Perfect. cover a couple more things. There it's you like go. It's like icing on a cake. That but I like the idea icing. about the leveling because then I don't have to worry where I'm putting it it's and into the black leveling. container, right? Perfect. And that'll give us a two layer piece, right? The clear yeah. on top. Yeah, so it'll really have that cool, like, piano key look. Absolutely. Of the ebony and the ivory. And then here, you know, New Orleans is all about crayfish. Yes. And so I didn't want to put these right in the tray because it's so thick, it would have made a huge base. So yeah. while the resin hasn't cured, it's still soft, I can just stick these tails in and they'll harden just coming out of the tray with a little bit of cray cray. So cool. And how long does it take for this to cure? Overnight. Overnight. Okay.